Medjid from Northwest Missouri State University. We're out here at our new dairy. We just moved into this facility about a year ago. It's an 80 cow uh, facility. We're handling the manure dry right now. The parlor is flush. Water coming out of the parlor flushes into a separator. We're, we're just uh, dipping out the solids out of the uh, uh, holding pit, taking them over to another unit where they're uh, we're composting and drying them down. One of the things that we are anticipating doing is to uh, put a flush system in the dairy. Once that is accomplished, then uh, we'll be running all the solids through the separator, uh, and then from there they'll be uh, blended and dried. Uh, trying to get it down to approximately 30 percent uh, moisture. The university uh, has a, uh, their power plant is set up to burn wood chips, uh, um, pelleted paper, uh, and uh, so what we plan to do with this is, uh, and we are uh, experimenting with pelletizing the manure and then uh, burning it in our uh, boilers. This is our feed alley. We are, uh, use a TMR. These are alleyways. Presently we're scraping these once a day. The freeze stalls are bedded with, uh, right now they're bedded with sawdust. We've used a little bit of everything in there. Uh, ground straw, ground soybean stubble, uh, ground corn stalks, paper pellets. We're using anything that uh, is biodegradable. You can't use any sand in here. You can't use that in the facility because it uh, will melt and uh, turn the glass in the, in the furnace. The, the cows are uh, in, in this facility most of the time, we, some, we do let them out to exercise a little bit, but uh, so most of the waste is captured uh, in the alleyways. Mm -hmm. The manure coming out of here is, it must be 90% uh, uh, solid, and it has a little bit of bedding mixed with it, but it's uh, uh, primarily just uh, waste uh, from the cows. We do have uh, a separate swine facility that feeds into our separator. So there will be both the hog manure and cow manure that's uh, going through the separator and then blended into pellets. This is the pit where the manure is just scraped down through the alleys and uh, dumped off into this uh, pit. You can see that it, where it's coming off, it's, uh, it's probably 90% water uh, when it's scraped out of the alleyways. And the water, uh, some of the moisture, uh, <coughs> leaches out of it and uh, runs down to uh, uh, lagoon. We will use a bobcat, uh, dip up the solids uh, in here, and then that's hauled over to a hoop shed uh, where it's blended with some other dry material and dried, composted for a while. This is uh, we, our separator. The swine facility is flushing into the separator pit. Uh, also, the uh, parlor is being flushed into it. We plan to flush the entire system, so the alleyways will also uh, be placed into this separator. This is the hoop shed where uh, we're blending uh, the material and we're taking the uh, uh, wet manure out of the pit, bringing it in here, and we've got uh, um, some windrows and some dried corn stalks, uh, chopped up bean stalks, um, and, and then we have also some material that's been composted and blended for a period of time. That will all then be blended together uh, uh, to form a final product. Then from here it's hauled down to the university uh, to the pellet mill. I'm Doug Moore with the University Farms at Maryville. I manage the university operations here. What we have here in the first pile is some already compost material. It runs between 30 to 35, maybe 40 percent moisture. We're adding 3,000 pounds of manure at about 90 percent moisture. That, with this 1,000 pounds on the other windrow, equals a half a day's manure supply from the cows. We get about 140 pounds of material per cow, and we milk 75 cows. This material here is uh, uh, actually ground up corn stalks, and it tests between 10 and 15 percent moisture. So we added 1,000 pounds of material on top of it to blend it, try to get uh, down to about 30% eventually by stirring it. 
spliced through with the it, it's blended it completely mixed it all the wet with the dry and I'd say two more days mixing it twice a day it would be ready to go to the pellet plant. What will happen with this 50 percent we're going to um, mix it uh, each day maybe really a couple times a day try to get the moisture down to about 35 percent and at 35 percent uh, they can pellet pelletize it and burn it and so from here uh, it'll go down to the pellet plant uh, where they'll finish the product.